everyone, it's Maddie. I'm V, and today we're going to be showing you the second part of our June book haul, which is all of the secondhand books we bought. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to do it vlog style because in a charity shop there's always a much smaller choice and it's a much smaller shop, so it's quite awkward to get a camera out. So we'll have to make do with the usual format for this one. It's also kind of hit and miss in charity shops. You never know when you're going to find a gem, so it's hard to be prepared. But this is spread out over the whole month and we went to loads of different charity shops, so we have quite a few books to show you that we're excited about. Let's get to it. First, we have two Jack Jacqueline Wilson books, The Worry Website, which is one of her earliest works, and Kiss, which is one of hers for young adults. These are two that we needed to help complete our Jacqueline Wilson collection. If you've been watching this channel for a while, then you might know that we're trying to collect all of the paper pack editions. This one I don't think I've ever read, but I remember it being in a primary school library. And then Kiss, Maddie and I both read from our library last summer, but we didn't have a physical copy. I think we had a hardback like five years ago that we must have donated, so we've got this paper pack to match our set. Next I have Royal Wedding by Meg Cabot, which is the surprise 11th book in the Princess Diaries series. I've read seven or eight of the Princess Diaries books so far and I'm really hoping to get to the rest this year. I'm also really pumped for this one because Mia is slightly older than she is in the Princess Diaries and I'm hoping she'll have outgrown some of the immaturity she shows in the earlier books. Next we picked up two adult novels, The Improbability of Love by Hannah Rothschild and How to Be Both by Ali Smith. We're trying to buy and read a few more books that have been shortlisted for the Baileys in the past and these two were ones that we were particularly interested in. This one is a romance and I think this one is about female friendship and like some YA novels that have come out recently it's told in two halves and you flip the book to read the different sides. Not sure when we're going to get to these but we're happy to have them in our collection. Next I picked up a copy of Shakala by Joanne Harris and this was from the book barn. There were plenty of editions of this book so it's obviously well loved and I've only ever seen the film but it's one of my absolute favourites regardless of whether Johnny Depp is in it. That's kind of tainted it so I'm happy to read the book and get to experience the story without him. I really love the strong relationship between the mother and daughter in this and they're introduced to a new town and really shake it up with the introduction of a chocolate shop. Next we have Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index by Julie Israel and I am so excited to get to this one because we got an arc ages ago. I put off reading it for some reason and it's finally come out in physical copy so we decided to get one because the cover's just very pleasing. It's about Juniper who finds a letter that her sister wrote before she died giving her a list of things to do so I think it's going to be similar to Since You've Been Gone in the way that Camilla encourages Juniper to do things out of her comfort zone to try and make her happy which is why it's called the happiness index. It's really short and I love novels with this clear like one two three construction so I'm hoping to get to it before the end of the summer. Next we have a second copy of Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Bernard. This is the Zoella edition with a lighter colour scheme compared to the original and that's why I wanted it just because I absolutely like these colours together. It also means that maybe we can take both to Yalk and I can get one signed and B can get one signed to her because we both ended up really liking this story. Next is Becoming Betty by Eleanor Wood and our friend Karis recently hauled this and the author is also going to be at Yalk so I thought I really really wanted it. Again it's got a beautiful rainbow cover and I saw this at a Waterstones table but I didn't really want to pay full price and lo and behold it was on the Amazon used new marketplace for under a fiver so couldn't resist. This is the story of Betty who starts at college and she decides that she wants to be cool and make a different first impression. So she joins a band and has a makeover, changes her name so that she's now known as Betty instead of Elizabeth and things go on from there. I don't know much more, that's literally all it says on the back, but I think it's just going to be like a really fun, maybe a bit silly and different to other band stories that I've read, hopefully. Next we picked up Inferno and Mafiosa, the second and third book in the Blood for Blood trilogy by Catherine Doyle. This definitely shows you that that patience is a virtue because I wanted to buy these immediately when they were still quite expensive and when Vendetta was only 99p on the used and new marketplace but in the end I waited because I thought I wouldn't get to the trilogy immediately and seeing as I haven't read Vendetta in the six months I've had it I was definitely right and then these came up for like under two pounds and I finally invested so hopefully now actually having all of the books will encourage me to read the lot. Next is And Then We Ran by Katie Cannon. This is one we read a few months ago but we decided to pick it up because you might have noticed in our last haul video we saw that in the praise Heartful of Books had been quoted and that was really exciting because it's our first quoted review in a printed book so we couldn't really not add this to our collection. Next we have Speak by Laurie House Anderson and although the cover isn't very great I really wanted to read this book because I'm always seeing it on lists of influential YA reads that people read to get them into the genre. This is about a girl who becomes a mute and I especially liked that characteristic in A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard so I'm really interested to see it in this very very early YA novel from the 90s. 
Louise. Next I have The Unlikely Hero of Room 13B by Teresa Toten, and from the cover I'm guessing that it's about a boy superhero that falls in love with the girl next door. The only reason I want to read this is because it's by Teresa Toten and I adored Beware That Girl, which is her most recent release. I'm pretty sure that this girl, Robin, is going to be a manic pixie dream girl, but I'm going to go in with no expectations and no previous judgments and just hope I love it as much as the other book I've read by her. It was only 99p and a real surprise find, so I'm actually really excited to get round to it eventually. Next I have Ketchup Clouds by Annabelle Pitcher, and this is a book that I picked out from the library ages ago, but I really liked it because it's about a girl called Zoe who decides to write letters to someone on death row. You get to see those letters, but you also get to experience her life as she's dealing with traumatic events in the present. I'm really excited for B to read this one because now that I'm thinking about it, I realise that I really liked it and it's been a while, and I love seeing books that I haven't really thought about, and it also helps that it's a really vibrant red colour to help add to our shelves. And also look at these cool sprayed edges, it was a really great find. Next we have The Lost and the Found by Cat Clark, and we are slowly gathering all of the Cat Clark books that we can. Now that Girlhood has been announced as one of Zoella's book club books, we hope we can get that one for as cheap as we got these. The Lost and the Found is the story of a family where one of the daughters goes missing when she's young. Then the older sister comes home after like 10 years, and it's how the family deals with this and trying to piece together what happened to her when she was kidnapped. It's really spooky and full of twists and turns. It's one I read like either last year or the year before, but Maddie hasn't read it yet. I'm really excited for her too though because it's super atmospheric and probably my favourite of the Cat Clark books I've read so far. And finally we have What I Was by Meg Rossoff, and we picked this up in the book barn as well, and I was purely going off of buzzwords for this one. It said boarding school and I just grabbed it. It's about a girl who's gone to many and been kicked out and she finds this one called St Oswald's, and then she falls in love with a boy, and I'm not sure if he goes to a neighbouring school or if he's like a gardener's son or something like that, but I'm so excited because I absolutely love books in this setting. They can't really go wrong for me. It's another really short one, so I'm hoping I'll get to it by the end of the summer, and also from just the way it's laid out with very short chapters and there's a map of the location at the beginning, I'm getting kind of We Were Liars feels from it, so I'm hoping that maybe that comes to fruition. So these were all the books that we managed to get secondhand. We're probably not going to be hauling anything until after Yelk now, but that's going to be really exciting and I can't wait to get there and see what they have on offer. These books were delightfully cheap, so I can't wait to see what we find in charity shops as well, although we probably won't find another good one until Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we, we've definitely like pulled a lot of this. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for watching, and if there's any book that we've hauled that you'd like us to prioritise, please let us know in the comments because we don't know where to start. <laughs> we'll see you on our next video guys. Bye! Bye.